Hi guys, thanks for checking out another TM Hair Products video. Don't forget to hit the notification button guys to be notified when we upload new videos. I had taken my son's hair down. He had some twists in his hair and I wanted to show you guys his progress. I'm so excited about his progress. He's growing into that in-between stage now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly mist his hair with water because I'm going to now detangle his hair. Of course, I'm going to be using our TM Hair Products Smooth Through Detangler to detangle his hair. And what I'm going to focus on and show you guys in this video is how to detangle your perimeter. A lot of times people just rip that hair out. But if you take a small piece and add the detangler and work it in, I'm working it in because his hair is very dry and very dense and his porosity is low. So with me working it in, it activates the detangler to work faster. Uh, check out that definition. Okay, so as I detangle his hair, I want you guys to notice um, he has a lot of single strand knots in his hair. And that's the reason why I'm using a smaller tooth comb to work out the single strand knots, as you can see there. And if you run into a knot, just add a little more detangler if necessary and remove the knot. Now, I also want to talk to you guys about the detangling process. I show you guys the detangling process. As you see here, I have so many questions. We receive so many emails about detangling. You guys, if you do not start from the ends of your hair while you're detangling, wherever you start to comb, is where you'll rip hair out. So it's very important. It doesn't matter what you put on your hair. If you don't start from the ends and work your way up, wherever you start to comb, hair from that point on is going to be ripped out of your head, which makes your hair thinner, makes it um, uneven and broken. So it's very important to when you apply the detangler, is to start from the ends of your hair. And what this detangler is doing to his hair right now, is it is moisturizing his hair because his hair is very dry. It's moisturizing as he detangles. So if I decided not to shampoo his hair, his hair is going to come out soft like it's been deep conditioned. But I'll just have to uh, co-wash his hair if I was doing that. And as you can see, I'm following the same steps through each section of his hair, starting from the ends and working my way up. Now, if you didn't suffer from single strand knots, then of course, use a wider tooth comb. But as you can see in the comb, he lost very minimal hair because the detangler is going to do its job and loosen up the knots and kinks. His hair has been completely detangled and now I'm going to shampoo and deep condition it. I'm going to keep those twists in his hair as I shampoo. They may come loose, but um, my goal is to keep the twists in his hair and work the shampoo in in the direction of his hair. And when he is finished, I'm going to rinse the shampoo out, reapply the same detangler you see on your screen as a deep conditioner for 20 minutes under a hooded dryer on a warm setting. And once that is done, as you can see here, his hair has been blow dried. Um, I didn't want to super blow dry it, but I just wanted to pull out some of the texture. Now, I've done one side, and all I did was part of his hair off. I'm going to give him some corn rolls for a simple, I'm tired, I don't feel like doing hair, week of school. So, all I'm going to do here is apply the Perfect Assist Styling Aid. And the Perfect Assist Styling Aid is a moisturizer. It's, it can be used as a leave-in conditioner as well. So, I do not apply, I'm sorry you guys, my voice is cracking. I do not apply a separate leave-in because this acts as a leave-in while it is moisturizing his hair. And it also fights frizz. So, if you wear braids or box braids, a lot of my clients or customers, um, are professional stylists and they use this when they braid their clients hair because it fights the frizz and they don't have to clip the clients um, hair because the styling aid um, softens the ends of the hair so that it's not frizzy and, and you have flyaways. But all I'm doing is braiding his hair back and what I've done was twisted his sides 
on an upward angle as you can see here and now I'm just going to connect them all and braid them going back that's it guys he was in a hurry to get out of the chair and I was in a hurry to get him out of the chair this day I had uh, I think I had done about two or three heads so I was pretty tired and exhausted so I don't have any pictures but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share them on your social media platforms. If you are interested in purchasing these products, there will be a link in the description portion of this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.